So far, we've seen ways of adding content to a page with alert or asking questions with prompt or posting something with document.write or console.log. But the thing is, as you might have noticed, those are not good ways to actually post stuff to a page. Um, one, if you use document.write, it's just going to show up at the top of the page. Um, there are ways you can kind of get around that, but it's still not a very easy way to add to HTML. The way you want to add to HTML is using document.getElementById. All right, so we're going to go ahead and test that out right now. So let's just write document.getElementById. And we don't have an ID quite yet, at least you don't. So what you need to do is go to your index.html page, create an element, could be a div, an h1, anything you want. Just test out a div if you want, just to be on the safe side. Give it an ID of anything you want. I gave mine an ID of message. So I'm gonna come back to my main.js and I'm gonna write message. And really quickly, let's just do a console.log to see what was pulled up. Let's refresh and there we go. So I see div ID of message. All right, let's come back in here. All right, so let's get rid of that. Another cool thing you can do with JavaScript is chaining different functions together. Uh, so we can do inner HTML equals content goes here. You can write whatever you want. I'll save it and then I'll go back to the page and I'll refresh. And there's my content. I'm going to check out my elements real quick. And right in my div, you can see that's the content that I added. If you want to take it a step further, you could create a variable called content. Write anything here. And then I'll just write content. I'll save it. Go back, refresh, and that works now. So you can include a variable, you can include string data, you can basically put any content you want into your HTML now using this. And as long as you connect it to the right ID, it'll always show up in the right place.